Welcome back, treasure hunters. So I got some more treasures that I wanted to show you. Found them over the last week or so. I didn't get out to the thrift store as much as I wanted to, but I did find some cool and unique stuff. So let's get started. So this first thing I found here, this is a vintage Nippon vase. Uh, this is made in Japan and it does have the mark here down at the bottom. You can see. I don't know the exact age, the um, mark here. They have different marks and you can, I know there's a couple websites that tell you a general age range depending on what kind of mark is used. This isn't the really old one. Uh, the older one has everything kind of horizontal, uh, the little symbol, and then it says hand painted and stuff this way. But I think this is fairly old. I think probably like more mid-century, I would guess. But it's in really good condition. A lot of times with these kind of vases, you'll start to see this gold uh, kind of rub off, like, you know, where it would touch something if it was like put away or whatever but it does have a cool floral design here that's all hand painted and then it has these gold accents there's a little bit of uh smudging here i didn't really try to get any of that off i don't know if i can or not but seeing that there's no cracks or chips and it seems to be in pretty good condition um it was definitely i got this at a savers and it was 2.99 and if it was more expensive, honestly, I, I don't know if I would have gotten it or not. These things can be hit or miss um, just because there's a lot of this kind of porcelain out there. I think the, you know, the design on the flowers and even kind of how it's gradient, like lighter on this side and darker on this side, just get, gives it a kind of a cool look. So I imagine I'll probably list this for around 50 bucks. So the next thing I found, I found at a Goodwill and it was only a couple bucks. 99 times out of 100, these kind of uh, bottles here are reproductions. And I imagine this one probably is a reproduction too. A couple ways to tell a lot of these types of reproductions, um, whether they're, I mean, this has a lady uh, with some stars around here. A lot of times you'll see presidents. Um, I've seen George Washington and I've seen Thomas Jefferson on these. A lot of times all of those will be from Wheaton, New Jersey, and it'll say it down here at the bottom. And those can vary. They can be very recent or they can be, you know, a little bit older. The, the reason why I picked this one up, one was the color. Uh, I just like the, the blue color. Two, it was only two bucks. And three, there's a lot of imperfections in the glass, which was common when it, these were made a long time ago. Uh, you can see like little granules in there and little bubbles and stuff. Most often the um, reproductions are a lot smoother. Uh, just the glass is a lot smoother and stuff. But I don't see a pontil mark on the bottom, which would indicate that it is a lot older. This also doesn't have any indication of like where it was made or any kind of maker stamp. So I'm not an expert in these. This is, that's just what I found by researching some other bottles that I found, which all ended up being reproductions. So I imagine this one is too, but for a couple bucks, I'll try and get a better opinion. Even so, I mean, I, probably could still sell this for like 20 or 25 bucks on my Etsy store, even if it is like an older reproduction. Next thing I found here is a studio pottery bowl and it is really well made. It is signed. I haven't really, I just recently got this, so I haven't done any research on this and I've been trying to stay away from studio pottery pieces where I can't ID or read who the, uh, artist is but this one i picked up at a goodwill and i got it because it was only a dollar nine and even if 
you know, I could still sell this completely unknown. It looks to be probably later 20th century, like probably like seventies or eighties, maybe for a buck. I'll pick this up all day. It's uh, got more value than that. So either way, it's cool. Bowl. I also found this piece of studio pottery, which is a vase and it's got, you know, little pinch top here and, you know, just kind of a plant design, I guess. But this was a little bit unique and again it's really well made and it's signed here on the bottom it looks like a Lindsay either way it is signed here on the bottom and I haven't done any research on this too I think I got this along with that bowl so I still have to look up and see if I can find anything on the artist but even if I can't I imagine I could get 30 bucks for this probably I think I only paid like $3.99 for it. So, so the next thing I picked up, I picked up two different, I picked up this one and I picked up this one. And these are just professional photographs of a couple of race cars um, during a race. I got these each for $1.99. And I honestly got these because my son is two years old right now. You know, if he ever gets really into cars and stuff, um, I'm probably just going to put these away. And then if he gets into cars and stuff, we can frame them up and put them in his room. You know, these are really cool, well printed and well taken uh, photographs. And for only $1.99, I figured that'd be pretty cool and unique to have. And, you know, if he doesn't get into cars, then... I can always frame them and sell them for whatever, but I thought they were cool either way. So, so next thing I found at Goodwill, I found a pair of these paintings and they're a little, they were a little unique to me because they are done on completely black. Uh, and I can't really tell if whatever these things are on were, like the paper was painted black or if it is on something different. I haven't taken them out of the frame yet to look. But I thought, you know, it just kind of was a little bit different. They are signed, and I'll show you the other one in a minute, by L. Charles Lassier, but they're dated 1946. So, you know, that's a little bit older and they were only $4.99 a piece. They're very well done um, and they are painted. I'm not even sure, once I take this off, I mean, they could be reverse painted, which is when the artist actually kind of paints backwards. So if you were painting on paper, you know, you do the back stuff first and then, you know, paint like normal. But when you're reverse painting, you're actually painting the other side of the glass. So like all these highlights and that kind of stuff needs to be on there first. And then you paint that way backwards. So I'm not really sure if this is reverse painted or not. Again, I just got to take off the back in here. It's got a bunch of old tape and whatever else. I'll show you the other one. That looks like a yellow rose. And I think these are irises maybe. It's also signed dated 1946. I did do a quick search in the store and I didn't find anything from L. Charles this year, but I did find some similar names but they weren't definitely weren't the same artist so this might be more considered two folk art pieces if i can't find any more information but either way for 4.99 a piece i'll probably sell these as a pair just because obviously they they're in the same frame and they're very similar in style so that way you know on etsy someone can just buy the pair and i only have to ship it out to one person so next thing I found here is a, an old painting. And when I initially saw this, I thought it was one of, I see types of um, artwork that looks pretty similar to this, but they're just um, printed on like cardboard or something. So it's all flat and smooth, but this is hand painted because you, know, you can feel the texture and you can see the brush marks and stuff. When I got a closer look at this, I realized it was an actual painting and not just one of those like cardboard 
um, older pieces of printed art. And at first I didn't see a signature. I did see when I was checking it out in the back, you know, you could tell it's old, the nails are rusted and this paper's falling off. I got it for 509 at Goodwill, but I did notice up in the corner and unfortunately the top here has been torn off so I can only see someone's name and then brother on the back, but it's written in pencil. And so that kind of lets me know that just the way it's written, it just looks older. Um, and with the frame and everything else, it looks like an older piece. It's not dated, but it is signed and it's really tough to see because the artist used um, green to sign the name and it's kind of like within all this grass. So I'm not even sure what it says yet. I tried to do some searches around, like it looks like P-L-A-N-L-I-K E maybe, I don't know. I'm gonna have to get a magnifying glass or something. But this is um, really detailed. I thought it was a very cool piece, um, especially like the house here, there's even a little person and you know, the detail even in the overhang of this house and the grass, you know, the rocks shadowing and everything. I thought it was really cool. It is kind of dirty, so I'm probably gonna try to clean that up a little bit. Uh, the only thing that was wrong with it is uh, right here, there uh, is a, like a little dent. I think this is done on wood, but there's a little dent here, but it's really hard to see because it's on this uh, big rock. Either way, older pieces like this that are very well done. Um, the frame's not in terrible condition, but it's also not in the best condition. But I could still um, kind of try and price this out. I don't even know what I would start with. I'd maybe a hundred bucks or something and see where it goes. But if I can figure out what the artist's name is down here, could be more. So good find for uh, 509. The next thing I found here is, looks like a hand colored etching. And this had to have been reframed by somebody uh, because this frame is pretty crappy. Um, I don't even think it's wood, I think it's plastic. And you can tell like on the back, if I didn't, for whatever reason, take a closer look at the piece inside, I probably would have never even gave this a second glance. This is kind of, I mean, very seldomly will I find nice pieces in a frame like this with you know these like staples and the things real light and kind of flimsy but this is uh when you get a closer look at this it definitely looks like an older piece to me and I, I definitely want to take it out of this frame anyway and i don't like the matting or whatever it is either it's kind of tacky but it was done by R. Godfrey, I can't remember his first name, but I did find there are some prints of this. This looks um, more like a antique etching, the can colored etching to me. So once I take it out of this crappy frame, I'll get a better idea of it. It was only $4.99 at the Savers and it's pretty, pretty cool. I did, all I did was search for the R. Godfrey and then this, uh, says Bradbourne in the county of Kent. So obviously I think it's English from what I remember. I'll do a little more research, but I did see some of like a similar piece like this selling for between like two and 300 bucks. So if this ends up being like an antique etching, then I'll get a much better frame and be able to price it higher because it is in really good condition. So the next piece I got here, uh, this is, I got this at a Goodwill for $6.99. And this is actually done on cloth. Um, it's either silk or batik or something. I have no idea. I haven't listed this on any of the Facebook group groups that I'm part of, but it definitely looks Japanese. Uh, it's got the 
I like how the mountains in the back kind of fade off. And it even has these like silver lines down it. And I wasn't really sure when I first saw it, I was kind of like, what it is that? But I think it might be like rain or something, but it is signed up here. And the back it was just pretty, I don't know, pretty standard and uh, mid-century piece. Um, but obviously it hasn't been taken out or anything. And the frame is wood. There's just a little bit of chipping on it. But I'd like to know if a lot of times these were like kind of just touristy things, mid-century, but they can still get a decent amount of money. Um, just because if the artwork is done well and it's like a nice picture. But sometimes, you know, they these pieces were actually done by well-known Japanese artists. So I don't really know, no expert and I can't read Japanese. So I'll have to get some help on this. But for only seven bucks, uh, I'd be able to price this probably around 100 or 125 bucks and then come down if I needed to. So I just recently got, um, I got a pair of these style and I don't even know what to call it, exactly what this is. And these are limited edition. I'll show you the other one in a minute, but they're out of, this is 10 out of 150. Looks like plate one. Maybe there's like a Roman numeral one. It's titled Foo Dog and it is signed here, but I cannot read the signature. I'm oh, sorry about the glare. So I'm going to have to get help on that. But I noticed these right away in this kind of frame. So it definitely caught my eye right away. And anytime I see, you know, hand signature, a title and a, you know, limited edition number, I always give it a second glance. But these were just kind of, I don't know, kind of unique. Just, I don't know. I'd have to figure out too, you know, what this says. So I'm gonna have to research that a bit. Unfortunately, the, the matting here is a little bit, I don't know, dirty. At least the artwork itself is in good condition. And then the back, you know, you could just see here, I got them both for 619. The other one, is very similar. But it's a horse and it's titled Tang Horse. So um, Chinese, I would guess. So hopefully somebody will have some answers for me and be able to recognize the signature and tell me exactly how these were made. So the last piece that I'm going to show you that I found over the last week is this massive oil painting on canvas. Honestly, I was kind of torn. I didn't really know if I should even pick this up, but it's really, I don't know, it's kind of a really cool looking painting. It's really well done, but it is huge. It's probably at least four feet wide or more. I haven't measured it. Let's get a closer look at it, but it's a really beautiful piece of art. I just getting pieces like this, they can be very hard to sell. I don't know, I'd have to charge a lot to ship this out. So this might be kind of more of a local auction house piece, but I got it at a Goodwill. It was only $19.99 and it is signed down here. It says Howard Kimball. And I did uh, do a quick search and I found pieces that he did that were a lot one, a lot smaller, two, a lot more, uh, I don't know, just kind of ordinary, like landscapes and stuff. But seeing that this had like a castle type thing and it's got, you know, a little, like a mom and a daughter, it looks like walking towards that house, you know, mansion or whatever it is. And a couple swans there. And then this nice mossy bridge and uh, just the colors and everything that were used. I just thought it was, might as well, you know, I couldn't pass it up for 20 bucks. 
even if I only sell it for 50 on buy sell trade, if that ends up happening, I, I don't know. So his work was selling anywhere between a couple hundred dollars to like over $500. It's just the logistics of getting this to a buyer is the biggest issue. So anyway, that is my last find of the week. Well, I thank you all for watching and checking out my latest thrift store finds. I am going to be doing a video shortly. I have a couple auction packages coming, but they obviously are late because of one, the weather and two, USPS has just been very slow. So as soon as those packages come in, I will do an unboxing and there's some really unique, cool stuff that I got at auction for very cheap. I don't even know if I'll be able to resell it like for much profit, but I got it for so cheap and it just seemed way too cool just to pass up. So I look forward to making that video as soon as the package arrives. I'm also going to be doing a video on sports cards, uh, some older sports cards that I also got at auction. So I'll run through that and why I made the purchases I did and what I can hope to get in return. So I appreciate all you. If you haven't done so yet, hit that subscribe button for me, click that bell so you get those notifications when I post a new video. I'm really gonna try to post more often, uh, but this last week I have been cleaning up my basement, trying to organize all of the stuff I have everywhere that I got at thrift stores. So once I get that straightened up, I'm going to walk you through and show you everything I found over the last, I don't know, two to three years, I guess, uh, all this stuff. And a lot of this stuff is not even on any kind of marketplace yet. So I've been also working, trying to get some of this stuff posted so I can start moving some of this or else I'm going to have to get a storage unit. So anyway, I know the weather's pretty crazy, so stay safe. So if you get to go out to any thrift stores or flea markets or anything like that, I wish you the best of luck and please share what you find.